Hey there folks and welcome to another horseandrabbit.com adventure. Today we're back here at SeaWorld and we're going to be focusing on Wild Arctic. Striking out from the Franklin Exploration Center in San Diego, hardy visitors to Wild Arctic are treated to a five minute simulated helicopter ride. It starts off as a relaxing sightseeing trip, but when bad weather sets in it becomes a thrill ride all its own. Unlike other simulator attractions, however, Wild Arctic actually pays off with passengers stepping off the helicopters and into their fantastic destination, Base Station Wild Arctic. Icy winds whip past tourists as they enter the research station and glimpse their first views of white beluga whales. Beluga whales are highly sociable creatures, their pods being groups numbering in the hundreds. They are also known for being rather playful with other creatures as well, spitting at humans or other whales. And it's a good thing they are, for they make entertaining hosts for the wild arctic interaction, where guests can suit up in wetsuits and meet these lovable aquatic mammals. The station itself seems well stocked. Yummy! With food, plenty of reading and research materials, and some tunes from the nearby radio. But we soon press on, taking one last glimpse of the happy beluga. Polar bears are enormous, curious, and can be quite aggressive. They are carnivorous animals and more likely than most to prey on humans. Luckily, the ones here at Base Station Wild Arctic spend most of their time lounging, making it a bit safer for the researchers to study these remarkable creatures. A nearby ramp promises underwater viewing areas, but first we pass a frozen wall of arctic ice. Average winter temperatures here can be as low as negative 35 degrees Fahrenheit, and the coldest recorded temperature is approximately 90 degrees below zero, a chilly change from sunny Southern California. Working our way down to the lower areas of the research station, we find enormous walruses swimming lazily in their own pool. While their pectoral flippers give them an awkward gait outside of the water, they are remarkably graceful once submerged. Diving to depths of 300 feet, they can stay under for as long as a half hour. As we venture deeper, we pass the thawing remnants of Sir John Franklin's 1845 expedition. When his attempt to chart the fabled Northwest Passage ended in disaster, the expedition's icebound ships were abandoned in desperation. When the station was created, some of the polar bears were evicted from their homes, which allows visitors to explore their dens without an unfortunate encounter with their former occupants.
Although from the sounds of it, perhaps these tunnels aren't completely bare free. He snores about as much as I do. This lower area of Base Station Wild Arctic allows swimming views of the polar bears. That is, if they weren't always snoozing on the ice above. But it allows a better view of the beluga whales. as well as their arctic seal companions as they swim through the chilly waters. One last stop at the station allows Rapid to check our location on the map. You know, none of this is on the map. And then it's a quick elevator ride back to the Franklin Exploration Center. To the heliport. And back to SeaWorld San Diego. There you have it, folks. As usual, my name's Rabbit Bunny. Behind the camera is a, a beluga whale. Sorry, hun. And this has been another HorseandRabbit.com adventure. Bye for now, folks. You calling me fat? No, I was just trying to think of something to call you. So you called me a whale. You couldn't have picked something cute like a penguin. There's no penguins. Or a puffin. There's no puffins. HARC, horseandrabbit.com, radio.